Hi, and welcome to CSIWeb74 JavaScript. My name is Dr. Tracy Kocher, and I am going to give you about five minutes introduction into this course and what you need to do. First and foremost, you need to get onto Canvas and you need to explore around and make sure that you know what is required of you and where you can get the information and resources that you need. On the main page of Canvas, you'll get a lot of links. Over to the right, you'll see what you have to do. If there's announcements or assignments or calendar dates that are set up, you can see every Thursday at 1 p.m. I have set a Zoom meeting. Those Zoom meetings are not mandatory, but they are helpful. And if you find yourself struggling or um, having questions, you can always come meet me on Thursdays at one o'clock and we will go over the content for the week. Other than that, you're kind of on your own since we're not going to be meeting face to face, but I'm never further away than an email. And my email is tracy.coacher at chavy.edu. And I'm perfectly willing to set up one on one Zoom meetings too if you need my assistance. Um, I'm available most Tuesdays and Fridays, um, af mornings, afternoons, and other days too, but that's, you know, by appointment. We'll see what. If you need to talk to me, send me an email with your preferred date and time that you'd like to meet online. The welcome information is here, and that just gives you a little bit about the course and how to get a hold of me. The syllabus is listed uh, right there and right here, take you to the same place. So you can see what the um, description of the course the expected outcomes, and the breakdown of how you get a grade in the course, the textbook that is required for the course. This is it, JavaScript, the Web Warrior series. Um, and the grading scale and the initial schedule, which I have put separately because it is subject to change. When you have completed this course, you should be able to create web pages that use JavaScript variables, literals, expressions, objects, properties, methods, and events, be able to plan, code, test, debug JavaScript, and create a website that integrates JavaScript. So those are the three things that I expect that at the end of this eight weeks that you will be able to do. And you will do so by reading chapters, completing discussions, and working on JavaScript projects. The schedule shows the due date of the things that you should be working on this week and every week besides. This week, introduction to class. That's this right here. Me talking to you, you looking at Canvas. The HTML review page gives you some resources to remind you about HTML and how to use it. Since the HTML course is a prerequisite for taking this class, you should already have familiarity with HTML. If you do not, you need to spend some quick time learning it because you're gonna need HTML to make JavaScript work. There's also an intro to JavaScript page, which is uh, the stuff out of chapter one. And so there's some extra resources and some PowerPoint. And if you look at the page, there's a video that I recorded last time I taught this class. And although the dates may be wrong, the content has not changed. So PowerPoint for the chapter, some overview, objectives, additional resources, and this stuff you need to work on. Everything is, is contained in here, and I'm happy to give you any additional help that you would like as you go through this. The two assignments to complete this week are the Hello World link and the Discussion 1. Discussion 1 is based on Chapter 1. Hello World link is a link that says, Hello World, my name is, and that's where I want you to create just a basic HTML page, but to find a place to keep, put it online. I have recommended give GitHub, but you do not have to post on GitHub. You have to post somewhere. JavaScript doesn't work if you just send it to me. It needs to run on a server. So you have to find a server, and you can find a server at no cost to you so that when you submit your assignments, everything you submit to me should be a link, not a page. Hope that makes sense, and if it doesn't, it will after you do your reading, or we'll talk about that more on Thursday. So just get on Canvas and get to reading your textbook, get your textbook and check out the resources and expectations for you as a student and get familiar with everything you need to do and start doing it. I've got a couple of videos here um, for the topics that we're covering and I should be available to answer any questions. Good luck to you. I said I would keep it under five minutes. It is 4.55.